I supported Mr. President because I knew him before he became senator. I knew him before he became governor. I knew him before he became president. And God willing, if we're alive, I will also know him when he ceases to be president of the Federal, Invers a Federal Republic of Nigeria. But what I'm trying to say, this is not about me. This is not a, uh, about an individual called Alaji Mujahid Dokwasare and Al uh, Ahmed Bola Tinibu. It, it, it is about my people. And when I'm speaking about my people, take me out of the way. I'm an individual. My relationship with President Ahmed Bola Tinibu was very robust. And at all times, the benefit I derived from that relationship was one-way traffic, was from Ahmed Bola Tinibu alone. His coming out for presidency was the only time I was able to pay him back. And I did. And even if he comes out tomorrow, I will still do it. Because at the time, General Lute Goebbels buried me alive. He stood by me. And I'm not going to be in a hurry to forget that. But that is personal between both of us. You talk about the line of communication. See, there's a, an Islamic preacher, Kiske, uh, Cheikh Kiske. He said, when somebody becomes an emperor, an emir, a sultan, uh, <laughs> Satan becomes his best friend and advisor. Because Satan will always be there whispering to his ears. Was Jesus not carried to the pinnacle by okay. Satan? Okay. Mr. And how far the whole Dukuba. world that thank, jumped down? I will thank, give you thank, thank you for that. Thank you for that. Now, uh, uh, we've understood you. We understand you're also saying that this conversation is not personal. But a lot of people would disagree because you've made statements such as that if President Bola Tinubu fails, we should hold you responsible. So my question is, should your people... I see stand by that Ijo, statement. So should the Ijo people, the Ogoni people, the people of Niger Delta, should they hold you responsible for the fact that their ministry has now been scrapped? I, I see stand by that statement. Yes. So so should the Niger Delta I people stand by that hold statement. you responsible? Are you taking responsibility for the Niger Delta ministry being scrapped? Since you said and you that, would be that is why I am crying out. That is why I am crying out because I am vigorously liable to any infraction of the expectation of of the Nigerian people, not just Niger Delta people, because I stood in front of everybody, and I'm not going to deny what I said, even if it is tomorrow. Ahmed Bola Tinibu uh, he, uh, encounters any problem, difficulty, I will still stick out my neck and stand. Because at the time he stood for me, I would have been dead. I would not have been in this uh, program talking to you. A passenger would have killed me. If not for people like Ahmed Bola Tinibu who stood by me and did everything for me. Well, I like you, so I am not going to be in a hurry. I, like I am not going to be in a hurry to forget that. I like you, Dokubo. Will you say that President Bola yes, I'm, Tinubu, I'm with you. Will you say President Bola Tinubu is succeeding or failing as president, given the reality in the country today? And to still go back to your matter with him, you said you emptied your bank account, you spent a lot of money, and uh, Tinubu is there in Abuja. You are not benefiting anything. So wh what would you like to benefit from him? Now that uh, you helped him, you supported him, and he's there. He has forgotten people who supported him. Listen to my broadcast. If you had listened to my broadcast in full, I met President Ahmed Bola Tinibu. I met him, both in camera and behind camera. And he asked me, are you interested in pipeline? He will be listening now. And I told him, I'm not interested in pipeline. Con. It's a life. I told him, I am not interested. But I can assist those who are doing the pipeline contract in any way I can for your government to succeed. 
but I'm not interested. So I never said that it was personal gain I was looking for. I clearly said in all my brokers that my needs are very small. My needs are very small. So what I'm trying to say, and it's very clear, President Ahmed Bola Tinibu becoming president, I should be able to tell him the truth. And what is happening in River State, where President Ahmed Bola Tinibu is supporting Injesom Wike to destabilize River State, to disturb the peace of River State. And as a stakeholder in River State, I feel disappointed, totally disappointed for the president to allow his minister serving under him to run amok, procure judgment, and all sorts, threatening the people of River State, because what they are trying to do is, we are going to remove Fobra and nothing will happen. And I'm saying that if you remove Fobra, something will happen. If you try to remove Fobra, something will happen. And that is it. That is where, that is what I'm talking about. I'm not talking of any personal benefit. I cannot be appointed minister. I cannot be appointed into any board. I did not lobby for any board. I did not lobby for anything. So it's not personal, like I said. Yes, I emptied my bank account. I spent over two million US dollars. I cannot even count in Naira what I spent. And I did not take a dime from him or anybody except 10 Jackris, who gave me 300 million naira. All right. Okay. okay. Yep. Well. All right. We, we have to go now, unfortunately. But I mean, it would have been great to interrogate your statement around working with the North for 2027 and you coming out to say that from now on you're not working with the president anymore. So I just want to assume that. The relationship with you and the president in the past, you're not taking it forward from today. So from now on, are you stating that you are now moving to the other side because you are no longer in support of just very just one one statement, just one statement that you are no longer in support of President? I, I think Wala you Adam are misquoting me. Okay. I think you are misquoting me. Okay, please then. What send I the said was straight. very clear that our fathers worked with the North, and I was in the forefront fighting against our fathers, Melford Okilo, Harold Dababria, and so on. And from what Obasanjo had done, and Ahmed Bola Tinibu had done, we, the younger generation, we go back and align with the North, because that is where Bayesa was created by uh, Abacha, uh, Tafa Belawa put in place Ninja Delta Development Authority, uh, and so on and so forth.